Disarticulation is the separation of two bones at their joint, either traumatically by way of injury or by a surgeon during arthroplasty or amputation. Disarticulation versus amputation. Simply cutting at their joint is disarticulation. Simply cutting at their bone is amputation. Disarticulation at knee. Equal anterior and posterior incisions are made around the knee. The patellar tendon is sectioned close to where it attaches to the tibial tubercle. The tendons surrounding the knee are divided from their insertions on the tibia. The same is done with the cruciate ligaments. Arteries and veins are ligated and nerves are divided. The patella is removed. A saw is used to remove the femoral condyles 1.5 cm above the level of the knee joint. The patellar tendon is pulled into the intercondylar notch and sutured to the remaining portions of the cruciate ligaments. The hamstring tendons are sutured to the patellar tendon. A temporary drain is placed in the knee joint and the incision is closed in layers. Disarticulation of hip. The physician makes an anterior racket-shaped incision beginning at the anterosuperior iliac spine and curving distally and medially. The incision extends to a point on the medial aspect of the thigh, 5 cm below the origin of the adductor muscles. The femoral artery and vein are ligated. The femoral nerve is divided. The physician continues the incision around the posterior aspect of the thigh to 5 cm below the ischial tubercity and laterally to the base of the greater trochanter. All muscles around the hip are detached. The physician detaches the gluteal muscles, reflecting the muscle mass proximally for later use as a flap. The sciatic nerve is ligated and separated. The physician incises the hip joint capsule and ligamentum teres to complete the disarticulation. The gluteal flap is brought around the wound and sutured. The physician places a drain in the inferior part of the incision. The edges of skin are closed with non-absorbable sutures. <laughs>